In the previous video we introduced the concept of vector spaces and in this video we are going to see some properties of vector spaces. I want to call your attention for the fact that this uh, very first axioms u plus v in the vector space do not forget we were talking about k and lambda in k field of scalars and u, v and w in the vector space. So we saw in the previous video that uh, u plus for, for, for this to be a vector space we need it from the vector's point of view that u plus v is in the vector space so it is closed under vector addition it is associative right there is an element zero it doesn't mean number zero but an element zero where u plus zero is equal to zero plus u is equal to u and for that uh, every uh, element every vector has a symmetric element right so u plus minus u that's how the symmetric is defined as minus u is equal to the uh, um, additive identity right so to, to zero and five for all vectors u and v in a vector space u plus v is equal to v plus uh, u so i wanted to call your attention to the fact that this um, this information shows you that that vectors and the operation addition so I would say the vectors in the vector space only the vectors plus the operation addition um, is a commutative group under addition uh, sorry a commutative no uh, vectors under addition is a commutative group I would say a well, yes, commutative group, okay, under addition, okay, the operation addition. I don't want to, I don't do many notations and too many sentences here. Okay, let me just remind you what a commutative group is. So, you have a set G and an operation, I'm going to call it star, right? So, uh, G1 operation G2 should be in G, right? So uh, it should be closed uh, under the operation, right? This is a set and this is a given operation. You have lots of videos on my abstract al algebra or group theory videos. You have lots of them. Please check that on my lists or something. Okay, so in order for G and this operation to be a group, it has to be closed under this operation and if we have G1 um, G2 G3 right so it should be associative right it's the same as G2 G3 right so very first point it should be associative Point number two, there should be an element, an identity. So uh, G1 times the identity should be equal to the identity times G1 should be equal to G1, right? So for all G1, there is an, an E in the group G, right? And this should be for all G1, G2 and G3 in the set that under these axioms will be a group three and uh, for any element in the group there is a uh, inverse right uh, such that g1 operation uh, inverse should be equal to operation g1 and that should be equal to the identity right so there will be a, a an inverse inverse for this operation right now this is the definition of a group and an abelian group or a commutative group 
is one. So commutative group. Um, so in a commutative group or a billion group, G1 operation G2 is the same as G2 operation G1. So the if this happens, the group is called a commutative group or a billion group. Okay. So if you look well, um, vector spaces, the vectors in the vector space under addition and the vector addition is a commutative or a billion group, is an abelian group, because one is closed under addition, so checked. It is associative, right? There is a, an element, there is an identity. Yes, the identity will be the, the zero vector, right? And uh, there is also a symmetric for any element, any vector, there is a symmetric vector, right? And plus, here you have commutativity, right? U plus V is the same as V plus U, right? Why do I have... Uh, I don't know, I'd, why do I have this... I hope I did not call this associative, because this is commutative. There might be a mistake in the previous video, and it's this one. Okay, so, given all this, vectors in a vector space, under addition, is a commutative group.